Welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans, or if it's your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, everybody else hit the like button, and let's get on to the big warning. Do not do this. Now you're wondering what I'm talking about, or you already know. Okay, so let's talk about what has happened in the past in Clash of Clans. When an attack becomes widely used to the point that you see that attack happening all of the time, almost inevitably it leads to a balance change that will nerf said attack, result in it being slightly weaker and then suddenly not used as often. Okay, now before you kill the messenger, go blame Logan Elliott. All right, he said it before I did. Sounds like Queen Charge needs a nerf, however that would work. So yes, that is what I'm talking about today. And here's the interesting way that we have to approach this, is that there is still quite the diversity to Clash of Clans strategies, especially at Town Hall 12. Obviously, you see Electro Dragons, you see Bowlers, Witches, Witch Slap, Bat Slap, uh, of course, Queen Charge with Miners, Lava Loon or La Loon or Lalo, whatever you want to call it. What I'm saying is, yes, on the back end, on the second, third stage of the attack, there is a wide diversity of strategies being used. But, and it's a big but, the beginning of almost every attack that we see these days, I would say maybe 80% of attacks from what I've seen from top level Champion 1 gameplay, it's going to involve either a Queen Charge or a Queen Walk and uh, those two terms are really almost interchangeable. You know, Queen Charge really more refers to the Queen going into the base after valuable defenses, maybe the CC, maybe defending heroes, that sort of thing. A Queen Walk more refers to when a Queen stays on the outside of the base, she kind of patrols around, she's either creating a funnel for other troops or helping to clear trash buildings for a three star. Either way, especially at Town Hall 12, the Archer Queen and five healers is something that is extremely frequent. Now the question is, and it's really a two-part question, number one, is it so frequent that it needs to be a nerf? And number two, is it really reducing the diversity of Clash of Clans attack strategies or not? Because we're still seeing, like I said, maybe half a dozen different back end, you know, second half strategies being used. It's just this Archer Queen walk, Queen charge with the healers in the beginning of almost every attack that's being used. So I'm curious to what you guys think. I do know personally that we've seen multiple nerfs to a queen walk, queen charge, queen healer, whatever you want to call it strategy. It's interesting. Also, from being in Poland the last couple of months, it, every country calls it something different. And it's funny to listen to so many different players refer to it by so many different names, but they all mean the exact same thing. So I don't know. I mean, my personal stance, honestly, if I had to say, I think I, I think that I like the way it is. I think that we see enough of a variety of other attacks that it's fun to be able to use this. It's a cool, it's a useful strategy, although it's probably not what the Clash of Clans team designed when they created the healing troop, the healer. They, I don't think that they said, hey, I bet people will stack a bunch of these on one unit and keep it alive and make it like an immortal hero or something like that. You know, that's probably not what they were thinking, but who knows? We don't know exactly what the Clash team was thinking when they developed the healer. All we know is that players are ingenious and this is a great strategy to watch, a lot of fun. Here you see Marco from Dark Unicorns. He's going to Poland and he's dropped in the Warden with the Queen and you'll see that as well. So. Yes, I think personally it's okay. I don't think that we should have a nerf. But it's funny because in recent videos and recent streams and even in-person discussions, I've heard a lot of buzz about queen and healer attacks. And what I mean by buzz is some players say, oh, it should get nerfed. Others say, oh, I'm afraid it's going to get nerfed. And others just say, wow, people use it a lot. So I don't know. I would love to start a discussion with you, the viewer, down below in the comments. And if you see a comment down there that you agree with, please just hit the thumbs up button on that comment and let's get it to the top so I can kind of get an idea of what the general consensus is of my viewership. Now, this is the other thing. You guys need to remember this, that you guys, the players that actually watch these videos and leave comments and get involved in, say, social media and the forums and Reddit and Twitter, we are what I like to call the vocal minority. And what I mean by that is that, yes, okay, 
that is a small percentage of the total population of Clash of Clans, but they're much more vocal. They're more likely to be heard by Supercell and the Clash team. So if you've got a complaint, voice it, definitely, and who knows? I mean, I personally, my opinion is that I don't want to see this attack changed. And of course, I'm biased because I love to play the game, and when I play the game, I have seen the most success in three-star attacks that I've ever seen in the history of the game using the queen and healers. If you guys have seen my recent videos, you know that things have kind of changed from the days of Galadon always struggling to grab two stars to Galadon now picking up an awful lot of triples, okay? And, uh, you know, I'm not ringing my own bell, ding ding, but it happens, and, uh, I don't know, what, maybe, uh, how about we put a uh, attack up on the screen? And right away, yes, you'll notice a few things. First of all, yes, it's not a maxed out base. Second of all, it's not a war base. This is actually in multiplayer, searching for trophies, and most importantly, there are no miners. That's right, my former most feared troop in the game, the, the, the troop that I was the absolute worst at, the Hog Rider. I've had some fun with the hogs lately, and level 9 hogs, oh man, they have been they have been a blast to use, and you know, with my increased skill with the queen charge, it's helped that out a lot. Because again, when we get down to these attacks, the fundamentals remain the same, whether you're using bowlers, or miners, or hog riders, I think Lava Loon is a little bit different as far as the fundamentals of the second stage of an attack that uses queen heal, or queen charge, or queen walk, whatever you want to call it. But those others are pretty fundamental. You're trying to create this funnel for those troops. You're trying to keep them in a narrow pathway so that the heal spells will work, so that the rage spells will take effect, so that you can kind of, you know, get them after those valuable defenses early. And that's exactly what I'm doing here with the Hog Riders. And so, yes, I, again, to repeat myself, would hate to see a nerf in the synergistic relationship that the Queen and the healers currently experience. Now, to get to the point of the title of this video, this is the thing, okay? If you don't want this attack to get nerfed, then you have to stop being so darn good at it because ultimately it comes down to the statistics. The numbers are what make for balance changes. If everybody is three-starring with this, and of course I am being excessive when I say everybody, but if a lot of players are three-starring with it, and the three-star percentage using this attack is extremely high, and you're seeing it all the time, then I would almost have to expect that there will eventually be a nerf, a balance change that makes this a less popular attack. So, honestly, there's really only two answers. The one answer is that there is already enough of a variety of armies being brought to battle that this specific tactic doesn't need to be changed. Or number two, there's just simply not that many triples happening with this strategy. Not that many high percentage successful attacks. And honestly, I don't know. I've gotten better at this strategy, but I still struggle with getting the queen to go the right direction and sometimes having her die to too many defenses on the inside. So I know it's not an easy attack. Again, I want to hear what you, the viewer, thinks about the queen and healers. And speaking of wanting to know what the viewers think, let's get into some of these comments because they're always interesting. Now, Seb Martin this is a comment I see a lot. I've talked about it recently. It's great to see players who are coming back. I definitely feel there has been a resurgence in Clash of Clans. All right. And again, Scarlet said the same thing. And he also likes the fact that you are progressing faster. I think that is a big selling point to any of your friends who might have quit. Get him back into the game because it's a great time to get through faster. And then this I thought was a great comment about the miners animation being inaccurate and I totally agree I'm hoping that this has already been voiced I will make sure that it's sent on because I think it is actually kind of terrible that it does that and then uh, a lot of people noticing the amount of dark elixir I have I'm ready man I am ready for a big time hero numbers upgrade is it coming I don't know but either way I'm going to try to stay above 2 million dark elixir at all times another great question and what would be a great feature we already have in other supercell games the ability to see when our fellow clanmates are online i really like this a lot and okay thank you guys for the comments about galadon and the three stars i have worked long and hard and i feel like i finally started to get a little bit better and you know it's just part of the game 
I enjoy practicing these attacks and friendly challenges have definitely made it easier because let me tell you, it takes a lot of attempts sometimes for me to grab a three star. And then I wanted to get into this section of the comments and I thank you guys for the comments that appreciated the flag update talk episode. I, you know, it honestly, in my opinion, it's the most asked question that I get in my streams and my videos, okay? So, now to answer the rest of these questions, and here comes the Gal Assault. Now, first of all, I've answered most of these questions already in the first two episodes. So, maybe these people that are leaving these comments haven't watched those episodes. Maybe they should have gone back and watched. Okay, but let's just go ahead. Let me just go ahead and run down all of these quote-unquote most commonly asked questions. And first of all, do you really think they're going to tell you when Town Hall 13 is coming? No, of course they're not. Okay. The fix to the clouds. We've already discussed it. It's coming before July, as is Builder Hall 9. War matchmaking. It's CWL war matchmaking. It is not controlled by Supercell. It's controlled by the clans and their performance. So technically, there is no fix, especially if clans keep on switching up their rosters. And now that we've introduced 30v30, it opens a whole new can of worms. Okay, let's see. I know people don't like the new 3D hero skin, but tough luck. There's no way they're going to change it back, so don't ask about that. The Queen's Artificial Intelligence. Yes, I agree. It's terrible, but we also heard that it was maybe temporarily fixed and then it was reverted. Expect it to be fixed in a future update, but then also expect it to not be perfect because if it's something they haven't gotten right up to this point, I feel like it's a very difficult thing to fix completely. And then last but not least, no, they are not going to let you buy the pass with gems. So just stop asking that question. The same with flags. No new flags. It's just the way it is. Don't kill the messenger. All right. Thank you, guys. Galadon off the soapbox. Hashtag Blizzle first. Hashtag Galafam. I love you guys. Have a great, fantastic, amazing rest of your day. Get out there. Be kind to people, planet, and the animals. And I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Galadon, Galadon, I want a flag carried by the Archer Queen in the clouds that shows a Town Hall 13.